If you have a Google Analytics account, you can use Google Analytics to monitor the effects of your print campaign. The simplest way to do this is to look at your account activity before and during your print campaign. We will explain how to do this in this video. If you don't have a Google Analytics account, you can sign up at www.analytics.google.com. Google Analytics can help you monitor your print ad effectiveness, but you should design your campaign with Google Analytics in mind. If you're going to use Google Analytics to measure your results, make sure you have a clear call to action driving people to your website. For example, something like, to take advantage of this special offer, visit our website. Also keep in mind that Google Analytics needs to be set up at least three weeks before the campaign for effective tracking. Having two historical weeks can help you get a better sense of baseline activity or what your normal site activity is like. To monitor your print campaign's effectiveness, you will need two pieces of information from your AdWords dashboard. First, the major cities or region where the ad ran. The names of the publishers you are advertising in can be found in the campaign summary page. And second, you'll need the date your campaign ran, which can be found in your campaign summary page after you've clicked into your specific newspaper. If you are unsure about the designated market area a newspaper covers, you can go to the print ads homepage at www.google.com slash adwords slash print ads and view the full list of participating newspapers with this information as well as circulation. Let's get started. We'll use the Google Store website as an example of how to monitor your website activity. Please note that this is just an example and no actual ad ran for the Google Store. You can now review your data. Take a look at how many visitors came to the website during the print ad campaign compared to a test time period before the ad ran. My control date range is the time period before the campaign. Let's say my ad ran July 1st through the 31st. My control time period will be the site visits from the month before the campaign. To enter the second set of dates, check the Compare to Past box and enter June 1st through the 30th. Once you enter the second set of dates, click on View Report in the Map Overlay box and then click on United States. Notice the visits during the print ad campaign are 10,100. The number of visits from the period before the ad ran was 9,310. There was an 8.49% increase in traffic during the test period. You should keep in mind there may or may not be other factors that have impacted traffic. For instance, advertising in other media or seasonality of the product or service you are selling. To try to further control for seasonality, you can also take the time period before your print ad campaign and the time period after and average them out as your benchmark. The previous view was showing the site activity for all of the U.S. Your ad may have only run in certain regions. We can drill down further into these regions to see how your print ad campaign may have affected traffic there. I can look at the traffic coming in from major cities that comprise the circulation of the newspaper I ran in. My print ad ran in the New York Post, so I will take a look at the New York region. Under this view, we see the difference in traffic coming from the New York region during and before the print ads run. In the New York region, there was an 18.87% increase in traffic during the print ad campaign. If we click on New York, we can see where the traffic is coming from by city in that region. In New York City, for instance, there was a 10.22% increase in visits in July versus June. I now want to compare my results to a control region, all regions of the U.S. except the test region. This will minimize the impact of seasonality or other outside factors that may influence website traffic. You can do this by scrolling to the bottom of the page and changing the Find region to Excluding and entering New York. The percent lift in regions excluding New York is 7.74% versus the 18.87% in New York. It appears that the print ad campaign in the New York Post helped lead to an 11.13% increase in lift in New York versus the control region. 
you may have advertised in multiple papers in multiple regions. To enter more than one region in the including slash excluding box, separate them with a vertical dash. In the U.S., excluding New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, there was a 6.9% lift during the time of the print ad. Another method I could use to evaluate performance would be to match up cities for the test and control regions that seem similar. For instance, I can take a look at traffic coming from New York City versus Los Angeles. To do this, first I click on City, and then I enter New York and Los Angeles separated by a vertical dash. In Los Angeles, it appears there was no increase or decrease in the traffic in the time period specified. Please keep in mind that site traffic is dependent on population of a region, which is why it's best to note the percent increases as opposed to raw traffic numbers. This is just one way to use Google Analytics to make note of how your offline campaign impacted your online site activity. Other ways to evaluate your campaign are engagement metrics, like percent of new visits and the average time spent on site. All of these are on the same screen, so you can find it here as well. How you decide to choose your control time period is up to you. If you run your ad in January, you might not want to compare it to December because of the holiday season, but perhaps January of last year or maybe October. If you follow these simple guidelines, you should be able to monitor the traffic that comes to your website in the regions and during the time period of your print ad campaign. We can't guarantee that these visits are directly because of your print ads as many factors affect your website activity. However, Google Analytics can nonetheless be very useful in providing directional guidance on the impact of your newspaper ads. Good luck!